Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a lovely time over the festive period and Happy New Year to you all. Right, okay, I've got a really good yarn haul here. I have got all 19 shades of Stylecrafts Highland Heathers and I've wanted this collection for so long. And what with my birthday being in December, um, I was gifted 10 balls by my lovely friend Lisa um, and the other I got six balls from Amazon and three balls from uh, the Knitting Network. My friend Lisa got her 10 balls from Lovecrafts. So this selection of 19 balls of Stylecraft Highland Heathers, um, obviously widely available, but the, these came from Lovecrafts, Amazon and the Knitting Network. So I'm going to run through all 19 shades with you. So get yourself ready, get yourself comfortable, strap yourself in, get yourself a cuppa ready and here we go with the 19 shades. Now what I love about this range is that they have a kind of a tweed or marl effect. Um, when I get to show you, show you the colours you'll see the different colours within the strands so some of them are made up of more than one colour. So they're really beautiful. Um, yeah, no idea what I'm going to make with it. It's just to have and look at and I just really like it. So without further ado, let's get cracking with the colours. Um, where shall I start? I will start with these three first. These are what I would call the sort of the berry shades. So let's go with these. Oh, so let me tell you a little bit about Stylecraft. Um, Highland Heathers, that it's 100 gram ball, 100% um, premium acrylic, 272 meters or 297 yards. Um, so this lovely shade here, this is called Marmalade. Just leave that there for a few seconds so you can see the, the lovely colors within it beautiful oh I'm thinking pumpkins already I know it's only January the 1st but I'm thinking pumpkins already <gasps> oh it's so gorgeous so gorgeous that's that one this one is called Hawthorne what a beautiful colour that is so rich lovely I can see sort of like um dark raspberry shades and I think it has a little bit of a sort of a mustard colour running through it as well. Uh, this one which is very similar, this one is called Tabry. This one's slightly more pinkier. It's Tabry. Then we're moving on to the kind of purpley colours. This shade here is called Thrift. Again, you can see the two different colours through there, through the strands, Thrift. This one is called Thistle. So can you tell there's a bit of a theme with the names? It's all very countryside, woodland, foresty plants and all that sort of thing. This lovely lilac coloured shade is called Heather. Beautiful. So the next three we're going to go on to are these more neutral tones. So this peachy one is called Wild Salmon. This beige coloured one or taupe coloured one is called Grist. And then we have this one which is called Bros. So that's the first nine, we've got ten more to go. So we'll go on to the blues. These are the three blue shades here. So this is the lightest of the blue shades and this is called Ken. So 
Then we have lock. Beautiful. And then this one, oh, I really like this one. This is called Firth. So the next four are like green mossy shades. Love this one. Love a bit of green. This is called Bracken. And then this one is called Moss. Again, I think this would be a great one for making my pumpkins. Lovely, lovely colours. This one is called Lichen. Lichen? Lichen. And then this one here is called Gauze. So now we're down to the final three, which is which are the greys. This is called shale. Then we have granite. And lastly, we have terrier. So I hope you enjoyed that run through of all 19 colours of the Starcraft Highland Heathers. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful colours. Really lovely. I just love the, the difference in, in the colour, you know, the, the two, the, more than one colour in the strand. Beautifully put together. Very nice, very nice indeed. Love them, absolutely love them. So I'm now going to do a little whiz through of all the colours and um, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you were interested in, you know, maybe purchasing, purchasing them and you wondered what they looked like, I hope this gives you a bit of a representation. Um, yeah, so what I've got to do now is obviously once I've finished here is I've got to put them away because they're DK weight, they've got to go in the rest of my DK DK bit over there, over there. See at the moment it's all in boxes, cardboard boxes and they just keep falling down all the time and then I, you know, so it then all falls down and then it's in the right muddle. So, it's something my boss bought me for Christmas. I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift this up. Oh God. Oh. This storage system so it's like a, oh this came from Amazon so it's um it's like metal rods and then plastic dividers plastic dividers and like little fronts so I might do a little video of that well it'd be quite a big video actually of me taking all my boxes down putting up my storage cabinet and then refilling it with all my yarns, all my DK yarns. And hopefully, oh, it'll make this look neater and it'll be easier for me to access the yarn. Well, not that it's difficult for me to access it from here, but you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, that's a little job for over the weekend. Thanks a lot for popping by. Stay safe, everybody. Take care. See you soon. Bye.